Hi, my name is Peter and today I wanted to share with you a modification I made for the ESDT C4 smart charger. If you don't know this charger, then I can tell you that if you need to charge 18650 batteries for anything, whether that's um, for flashlights, RC hobby or vaping, um, then this is probably the very best charger on the market that you can use to charge these batteries. Um, it's, it's just great. I mean, it charges those batteries very fast, um, has loads of, loads of options and everything. It's, it's great, apart from one thing. And let me show you what it is. Well, let's start it. Can you hear it? It is super, super loud and it's extremely annoying when it's running in the background. So I decided to do something about it. And um, I had this uh, Noctua NF A4 uh, fan, which is 40 by 40 millimeters, and I started wondering because I, I know it's it's like super super quiet fan, um, and I just started wondering if there's a way to put it to replace the original fan in the charger with this one. So obviously it won't fit here because it's way too large. Um, therefore I designed this. So that's a 3D, printer, 3D printed body, replacement body for the charger, and it has, it's, it's slightly bigger, slightly, not huge, but it's a bit bigger, but it can hold the super quiet fan, and it just basically makes it perfect right now, that the whole charger, like the only fault is gone, and um, in this video I'll show you how to mount it and then you will see a comparison of, of how loud is it before and after. In order to replace the body of the charger we have to disassemble it first. So we have six screws to take out the inner part of the charger. There are two screws in here visible and there are four screws underneath the screen. So let's remove the two first. Okay, these are out. And now, like I said, four screws under the screen. So I already removed it, um, so it's going to be way, much easier for me. Um, but please be extremely careful um, when removing it, just not to break it. And also, I'd suggest starting from this side, because here we have the wires connecting to these um, buttons. All right, so let me try to get that done. Okay, as you can see, for me it's like super easy, but I removed it like three times already, so that makes a difference. And like I said, we have now four screw holes, one, two, three, and four. So let's remove these. six out I can put the screen back and now just gently remove it from the body okay we probably won't need that anymore and here's the perpetrator this extremely annoying tiny little fan uh, we can just simply unplug it from the bottom Oops. okay so that's out so this one has a JST plaque um, as 
far as I remember, that's a two millimeter one. I'll check that and put it in the video description. So when we get the Noctua fan, you will have you won't have this JST plug. Um, you will have a standard Noctua um, fan fan plug, however you call it. I don't even know what's the right way to call it. But anyways, uh, what I did originally because I re redone it, uh, but basically originally I cut the uh, JST plug from um, the small one and simply um, soldered the black and red uh, cables with the original JST plug and then just used a heat shrink here just to keep it safe. Um, the yellow cable that, that's for I think it's for RPM readout or RPM control. No. Anyways, we don't need it here. Uh, it always, always goes full speed every time it's switched on, but it's still super quiet, so it doesn't matter. So that's done. That's the one part that requires a soldering iron, I'm afraid. Um, and then we have the 3D printed body of the mod, um, in which you mount the, the fan and just plug in the remaining part of the charger. So it basically combines with just one 3D printed part, but it has these um, extra bits here that are basically responsible for keeping the airflow the same as in the original body. So you can see um, this just, I use these just to keep the proper pressure and so that the proper, um, the correct parts of the charger are being cooled. Um, so the first thing we have to do is to put in the fan. Um, also, you see I have some adhesive stickers here just to keep the fan in place. Um, so when putting in the fan, first of all, we have to verify which way is the airflow of the fan. So it's um, pulling the air from this side and putting it out that way. And the, the way it's built is that um, in here we have the air intake, so it, it um, Pulls, uh, it's, push, it's pushing the fresh air over the electronics to cool them down from the back and then disposes of the air in, in here. Right. So let's just put that in like this. Then we put the covers on. They just slide through. All right. Oopsie. No way around, sorry. Okay, so these two are in. Now we plug in JST into the bottom side of the board, push in the cables, and we are done. So obviously now we need to screw in everything, but to be honest, I've been using it for some time without um, locking it with screws, and it's fine. You just put it on the desk, you don't move it. Um, lastly, what I did, I reused the bottom silicone uh, standoffs um, from the original part, just took them out from here and uh, glued them on my mod just to, so just it doesn't move, it sticks better to the desk. Um, lastly, you might notice um, the 3D print here um, in the fan cover turned out terribly. <laughs> Um, and this is purely my fault. I didn't reprint it, but um, I should have. Um, I didn't use uh, the support materials and I had the printer set too fast and that's why I ended up looking so rubbish. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do a reprint. But anyways, I, I just don't look at it. That's why I didn't care. So because it always stands like that, it's not facing me the, the, the wrong pr part of the 3D print. Um, so I just I just don't care, <laughs> don't mind. Anyways, that's it for the mod overview. I'll now show you the comparison before and after on how loud the charger is.
Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and have a great rest of the day. Bye.